Casey. Better than films, better than steak, huh? Those films. Mm. <laughs> but we got rid of we got rid of the worst part. Absolutely. Okay, so the tricky part is I do not actually involve her hand in the cutting. She's along for the ride. She can feel exactly what I'm doing with it. I'm stabilizing over here. She gets the idea of what's happening. And then what I'm going to do is lay the knife down, transition over, bring her in a little more, and then do the bite. Mm. So in, it, there is a transition because that's what we do in America. Now in different countries, that would be something different. And depending on what I was cutting, I may actually have to come and really apply greater tension. But what I'm doing with this hand is I'm stabilizing the fork and she's with me. So she's getting a double handed activity. Let's say I wanted to try to cut this. But what I'm not trying to do is really torque her wrist or involve her hand up in my hand. Cause this is where, you know, if I have her hand here, then it's much more difficult to get anything And to you're happen. squeezing hard. And it's really yeah. uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and it doesn't really do the thing we need it to do, which is to actually cue her, what are we doing here? And then when we switch to this, mm -hmm. so all the manipulation, if you will, of the tool is in my hand, but she feels every bit of manipulation that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and close your eyes for a second, Casey. And Tell them what you think I'm doing with my hand out here right now. So now you're cutting, you're using mm -hmm. your left hand with the fork, mm -hmm. put down the knife. Now you're poking the food and now I'm ready to 